The production possibilities frontier is a way of mapping what are the feasible production combinations for an economy so that we can know at a glance what are the true possibilities it faces in deciding how much of each commodity to produce. It's separating the feasible from the infeasible. Let us say our economy has three labor units or three units of productive capacity in general. And let's assume that each labor unit can produce any of the two commodities in the world, apples and oranges. Its productivity is in a day, each labor unit can produce either two oranges or two apples. So that represents its total productive capacity. Because resources are scarce, all uses can't be achieved. So we want to be able to map which are the feasible options for production. Okay, one possibility is that all productive capacity is devoted to apples, in which case the country can produce three apples, but no oranges. So three and zero is one production possibility. It could have two units in apples and one in oranges, in which case it can produce two and two. If it has one productive unit in apples and two in oranges, then it can produce one apple and four oranges. By the way, we can see here the application of the concept of opportunity cost. What was the opportunity cost of two oranges? It was the apple we could have produced. If those resources had been devoted to apples instead of oranges. The opportunity cost of the two oranges is an apple and similarly the opportunity of an apple is two oranges. Continuing, if all productive capacity is devoted to oranges then we would have no apples and six oranges. I want to represent these on a graph. So I'm going to count oranges on the vertical axis and apples on the horizontal axis. So the first production possibility is three apples and no oranges represented by that point. Another one is two apples and two oranges and that's represented by that coordinate. One apple and four oranges is there. And finally, six oranges and no apples. If I connect those dots, I have encapsulated all of the feasible production possibilities. So for example, a point inside that boundary represents a production combination that is feasible. Say one apple and one orange is a feasible production combination because we have sufficient resources to produce it. Because it is well inside the boundary, it is also inefficient. It means that we are not using all of our resources efficiently to produce as much as we can. A combination on the boundary is both feasible and efficient. It can be produced, but it requires all of productive resources to be able to do so. And 
a combination outside the boundary is not possible given current resources. Our productive capacity cannot produce three oranges and three apples at the same time. So what that boundary does is it shows us graphically what is possible and what is not. It also reflects opportunity cost. The same opportunity cost that we described a few slides ago. So here, if we are producing four oranges and one apple, in order to produce one more apple, the opportunity cost is the two oranges we have to give up. If we want to have those two oranges, then the opportunity cost is the apple that we give up. That is reflected by the slope of that line. The slope of that boundary reflects the opportunity cost. And if the opportunity cost changes, then the slope of that boundary will change. That line is called the production possibilities frontier. It's the boundary of all the feasible production possibilities. It's a useful construct because to understand allocation decisions in an economy, to understand how an economy collectively decides how much of what it is going to produce, a key element of that is knowing the feasible set. The feasible set is one of the ingredients we, we, we need to have and be aware of in making our collective production decision. And any kind of decision where you are dealing with finite resources and alternative uses can be modeled in the same way. So for example, how you decide to spend your income. You have finite resources, which is the amount of your income, your budget, and you have many alternative ways you can spend it. So if we want to model that, con that consumption decision, how to allocate your own budget, then constructing what corresponds to the PPF, constructing the boundary of the feasible set is how we would do it. So the production possibilities frontier is the boundary of the feasible combinations of production quantities.